Hello everyone, welcome to class series and in this video, we're gonna be discussing our question answers of our poem, Jazz Poem 2. So we're gonna be discussing our main of understand the poem. In that, our first question is, read the first stanza and see how closely the description of the jazz who is the player is made and fill in the columns in the table. The answer of this question is, number one, face, wrinkled old face, full of worries, rough unshaven face number two eyes closed eyes still down eyes number three ears still closed ears number four shirt a faded blue old shirt turned dark with sweat number five collar frayed collar number six jacket worn out old jacket number seven shoes run down shoes had paper in them our second question is why do you think the jazz player keeps his head down. Check in the line 1 to 6. The answer of this question is, jazz player was very old and he had no interest in life. He was alone and had pain in his heart. So he kept his head down. Our third question is, the word old has been repeated several times in the first two stanzas. What does this suggest? The answer of this question is, the word old suggests belonging to the past. Jazz player was age and the things are worn out or outdated. Our fourth question is, what description do the line from 13 to 18 suggest about the jazz player? The answer of this question is, jazz player had lost interest in his life. He did not care to wear the tom dress. He had more pain that could be seen in each wrinkle of his face. He was alone. Our fifth question in that question A is, read the lines from 19 to 25 carefully. Is there any change in the stature of the jazz player? The answer of this question is, yes, we found some changes in the jazz player. He put his still down and eyes still closed but ears brighter up. He was started to play some religious musical notes in a low voice. Our question B or fifth question is, now read the lines from 31 to 35. Can you guess what he is meditating on? The answer of this question is, he was meditating that he wanted to tell that he was a black man to all the world. Our sixth question is, how has he held his instrument? The answer of this question is, his instrument saxophone was hung from his neck by a wire coat hanger. Our seventh question is, read the lines from 29 to 41. It gives a picture. Can you imagine that? Try to get that picture in your mind. If you can, draw the picture. The answer of this question is, line 29 to 41, create the picture of the man playing his instrument. The minute he puts his musical instrument to his mouth, he undergoes a transformation. As he preaches his black gospel of jazz through his music, he changes from being a black man to a bird soaring high in the sky. This transformation is symbolic of the liberating spirit of music. It also shows that music has no divisive boundaries. Our eighth question is preaching it with words in the line 35. What does the word it stand for here? The answer of this question is the word it stands for the black gospel of jazz. Our ninth question is he is no longer a man says the poet in the line 37. Who else is he supposed to be if he is no longer a man? The answer of this question is the poet said that if he is no longer a man, he became a bird. The last and final question of this poem is, read the last 10 words of the poem. You may observe a change in the tone. What is that about? The answer of this question is, the tone in the last 10 words is of despondence, which basically means loss of hope. The speaker says that the jazz player who transformed himself into a bird with the power of music may once again relapse into his pathetic condition of being an old black man 
with a wrinkled face and worn out clothing